So hello guys, welcome back to another video from the Innovators. As the world is facing its biggest pandemic situation, we are here to make your quarantine as productive and as protective as possible. So we are making an electrical mechanism of the whole sanitizer gate, including the demonstration in this video. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into the video. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, please do it to watch our latest upload as soon as possible. Let's start. So to build the electrical mechanism of the sanitizer gate, we are going to use an Arduino, an ultrasonic sensor, a relay module and a pump to spray the disinfectant liquid. I'll start by briefing about the ultrasonic sensor and how it is used. The ultrasonic sensor is used to measure the distance digitally. It works on the ultrasonic sound wave at 40 kHz, which human cannot hear definitely. It travels through the air where there is an obstacle so the sound waves will bounce back to the module. With the help of time and speed of the sound wave, the distance is calculated. Now let's discuss the pin configuration of the ultrasonic sensor. There are four pins. First one is the VCC, second is the trigger pin, the third one is the echo pin and the last one is the ground pin. On the top you can see two circular parts which are transducers. One is used as the transmitter, the other is used as the receiver. We will be using trigger pin as the output because it will use to transmit the sound waves and echo will catch the sound wave and calculate the time. Let's make a circuit for the ultrasonic sensor. Here we have Arduino UNO, the ultrasonic sensor and some jumper wires. Connect the trigger pin of the ultrasonic sensor to D9 pin of Arduino. Connect echo pin of the ultrasonic sensor to the D10 pin of Arduino. Connect the VCC of the ultrasonic sensor to the VCC of Arduino. And connect the ground of the ultrasonic sensor to the ground of the Arduino UNO. Let's see the programming of the ultrasonic sensor using the Arduino IDE. First we have to declare two integer variables and define its digital pin numbers. Named as echo pin and trigger pin. We have defined two variables in which one is for the duration of the sound wave with its type long and other is for distance. The final distance measured by the sensor with its type integer. In setup part we just have to declare trigger pin as output and echo pin as the input. Let's move towards the loop part. Trigger pin is low for 2 microseconds and then high for 10 microseconds. The pulse in a function used when the pulse is detected on the echo pin, it will calculate time and time taken will be saved in the duration part. Furthermore, the most important part is how to calculate the distance. You can calculate it with the help of the formula. Time into speed divided by 2. Here division of the 2 is because wave has traveled twice. After uploading the code on the Arduino UNO, you can see the result in the serial monitor. As you can see, when we keep our hand near the ultrasonic sensor, we can see the change in the distance. The other component which we will be using is a relay. Relay is the electromagnetic switch which is used for high current or low voltage because it will switch by using low voltage. As the relay diagram shows, when a relay contact is normally open and O, there is an open contact when the relay is not energized. And the other one is NC, normally closed, is the closed contact when the relay is energized. To see how to program a relay, you can see our previous video. Relay control by push button for programming of the relay. Let's start the circuit building for our sanitizer gate. Our circuit will remain same but we only have to include a relay. Connect VCC pin of the relay to the VCC of the Arduino. Ground pin of the relay to the ground pin of the Arduino. And the signal pin of the relay to the D12 pin of Arduino and give voltage supply to the Arduino.
So guys, let's move towards the programming part of the sanitizing gate. We have same programming as we used before with some new changes. First, we include relay pin, which is pin 12. Then configure relay pin as the output pin. And at last, we have to include one condition. If the distance is less than 100 centimeters, it will turn on the relay for one second, else turn off the relay. Remember guys, this relay is active low, which means it will turn on if it gets low or zero on its signal pin. After uploading, you will see when any obstacle comes in front of the relay, it will turn on. To spray the liquid, we are using a sanitizing material. In this box, we have a built-in tank and a built-in motor. We have battery and motor. Cut the positive wire of the motor. To make this circuit in a workable condition, we connect all the parts on the Vero board. We also include voltage regulator 7805 to regulate 12 volts into 5 volts. For protection of the regulator, we connect heat sink along with the regulator. Voltage regulator have three pins. First is connected with the positive of the battery. Second pin is connected with the negative of the battery. And the third pin is connected with the VCC of the Arduino. Instead of the Arduino UNO, we used Arduino Nano because the connections are same as we previously used an Arduino UNO. To save battery power, we include a button which is connected with the positive of the motor and the voltage regulator. We connect a nozzle to our spray box in a way that it is under 100 cm from the ultrasonic sensor. We adjust the rate of the spray to the 3 seconds. You can also change the time of the spray by the coding. So that's it for today. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and also subscribe our channel to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible. We'll be back with another video shortly. So stay at home, stay safe, build something protective for yourself, make your quarantine as productive as possible. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.